I'm sitting at the computer typing when Emmy bumps up against my legs. I look down and she's sniffing the floor around my feet intently. What are you doing down there? I'm looking for steak, she says, wagging her tail hopefully. I'm pretty certain that there's no steak down there. I've never eaten steak at the computer, and I've certainly never dropped any on the floor. You did in some universe, she says, still still sniffing. <sighs> All right, what ridiculous theory has your silly little doggy brain come up with now? Well, it's possible that you would eat steak at the computer, yes? I do eat steak, yes, and I sometimes eat at the computer, so sure. And if you were to eat steak at the computer, you'd probably drop some on the floor. I don't know about that. Dude, I've seen you eat. Yes, the dog calls me dude. There may be obedience classes in her future. All right, we'll allow the possibility. Therefore, it's possible that you dropped steak on the floor. And, according to Everett's Many Worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, that means you did drop steak on the floor, which means I just need to find it. Well, technically what the Many Worlds interpretation says is that there's some branch of the unitarily evolving wave function of the universe in which I dropped steak on the floor. Ah, uh, yeah, right. Anyway, I just need to find the unitary what's this. The thing is, though, we can only perceive one branch of the wave function. Maybe you can only perceive one branch. I have a very good nose. I can sniff into extra dimensions. They're full of evil squirrels with goatees. That's Star Trek. That's not science. Anyway, extra dimensions are a completely different thing. In the many worlds interpretation, once there has been sufficient decoherence between the branches of the wave function that there's no possibility of interference between the different parts, they're effectively separate and inaccessible universes. What do you mean, decoherence? Well, say I did have a piece of steak here. Stop wagging your tail. It's a hypothetical. Quantum mechanics says that if I dropped a piece of steak on the floor, then picked it back up, there could be an interference between the wave function describing the bit of steak that fell and the wave function describing the bit of steak that didn't fall. Because, of course, there's only a probability that I'd drop it, so you need both bits. What would that mean? I'm not really sure what it would look like. The point is, though, it doesn't really matter. The steak is constantly interacting with its environment. The air, the desk, the floor, the dog, whatever. Those interactions are essentially random, and they're unmeasured. That They lead to shifts in the wave function of the different bits of steak, and those shifts make it so that the wave functions don't interfere cleanly anymore. That process is called decoherence, and it happens very fast. How fast? she asks, looking hopeful. It depends on the exact situation, but as a rough guess, 10 to the minus 30 seconds, maybe less? Oh, she deflates a little. That's fast. Yeah, and once that decoherence has happened, the different branches of the wave function can't interact with each other anymore. Which means, essentially, that the different branches become separate universes that are completely inaccessible to one another. Things that happen in these other universes have absolutely no effect on what happens in our universe. So, why do we only see one branch of the... whatchamacallit? Now, that's a very good question. Nobody really knows. Some people think that this means that quantum mechanics is fundamentally incomplete, and there's a whole community of scientists who do research into the foundations of quantum theory and its interpretations. The important thing, though, is there's no way you're going to find stake under my desk in this universe, so please get out of there. Oh, uh, okay. She mopes out from under the desk, head down and tail drooping. Hey, look on the bright side. In the universe where a version of me dropped a piece of steak on the floor, there's also a version of you. Yeah? Her head picks up. Yeah, and you're a mighty hunter, so you probably got to the steak before I could pick it up. Yeah? Her tail starts wagging. Yeah. So, in the universe where I dropped steak, you got to eat steak. Whoa! The tail wags furiously. I like steak. I know you do. I save what I was working on. Tell you what, how about we go for a walk? Whoa, good plan. And she's off, clattering down the stairs to the back door in the leash.